Tonight, guys, I want to talk about the 9 to 5 life. I want you to relax, chill, sit back. I have worked since as long as I can remember. I've always been a very independent person, you know. I don't want to depend on anybody. I don't want to go to my parents or a friend or a loved one to, you know, ask for money. I feel like as a man, and maybe it's a little bit of toxic masculinity, whatever. I feel like as a man, you should be able to depend on yourself and not have to rely on anybody else. Every single job that I've had, Honestly, I just didn't enjoy. I thought it was because I was lazy or I just didn't want to work or anything, but you know, doing YouTube and putting hella work on my channel, most people in my position would have quit by now just because of how much work and dedication you have to put into the you know a YouTube channel or a business in general. It comes down to how the nine to five industry, I guess we just call it, it comes down to how it's ran and you know you're just a, another worker in the machine. A video popped up on my recommendations on YouTube. And, you know, he was just talking about how, you know, he put in so much work and so much dedication to this company and on a whim, they just fired him. As a worker, you're very replaceable. For two full years, I never really complained. You know, I didn't really give back any lip. I just did my job as hard as I could and, and gave so much of myself to the point where I didn't even really go out with friends or I didn't have any free time just because of how much time and effort I was giving to this corporation that don't really give a fuck about me because they fired me. I realized that in the nine to five life, it doesn't really matter how good of a worker you are or how much time and effort you put in. It really just comes down to money. You know, if you're gonna lose your money or you know, you're more profitable letting go, they're gonna do it. It's not fulfilling. Most people, if you look up on Google or you know, just word of mouth, most people hate their jobs, which is so sad because most people live to work. The average person spends around 40 hours a week full time, you know, whatever job they work, 40 hours every single week to someone that you don't even know, some boss, some CEO. And the saddest part is no matter how much money you really make, it doesn't really change your level of happiness. For the longest time, I thought it was just the amount of money that I was making, but you know, going on forums and going online and stuff and seeing people that's making 100K, 200K per year, still having the same issues as me. I realized that it doesn't matter how much money you make, the thing that you're doing, you don't enjoy. Money doesn't bring that happiness. Most people live their entire lives not chasing their dreams or not doing the things they truly want to do just because of how much time and effort they have to put in to a job. Because of course, you know, with life, you have to pay bills. You may have a family, kids or whatever. Those things are expensive. I live in Miami. Miami is an expensive city. Just to sustain myself, it costs a lot of money, so I have to continue to work. So me losing my job, honestly, was a really scary time. Luckily, I have a job interview, and by the time you're probably watching this, hopefully I have the job and I'm making money and everything's good, but it is a very scary time. The fact that we have to live to 60, 70 plus, and I think they're increasing the age of retirement. The fact that we have to work so long for the majority of our lives to something we don't like, it's so sad. And me living in Miami, let me tell you one thing. This city has so much money and influence just in the city. It's very demoralizing to go to work and make pennies on a dollar when you see people driving Lambos, eating fancy meals, and just enjoying their life. Seeing people live my dream life and do the things that I always wanted to do and then I'm not able to do it really fucks my brain up. I always try to maintain a level of happiness. So for me, being on social media is just a no-go. I can't do it. Let's talk about college a little bit because college kind of ties in with the nine to five life. When I first graduated high school, I did end up going to college for a little bit. I did end up dropping out shortly after just because college was literally awful. I hated college. At least in high school, you know, people had fun, you know, we couldn't make jokes in the back of the class. But when I got to college, yo, everybody was there to fucking learn and there was no fun in it. And I know college probably isn't meant to be fun, but school was always a place where I can go to, you know, socialize and just, you know, talk with other people. So me going to college and realizing that nobody wants to talk and people just want to listen to their professor and not really enjoy their time, it wasn't for me. So I did drop out shortly after, but college has to be one of the biggest scams that I don't know who created it. They had to have been the smartest man or woman to ever create a system to get millions and not even millions, billions of people to blindly just follow the herd. If you ask most people why they're going to college or what they're going to major in, most of the time they don't know or it's kind of just like they pick the thing and they don't really know what they're doing, which is so fucked up and sad because college is expensive. You know, if you go to college, you do have to pay those bills. It's not just go to college and if you fuck up, you know, 
you're good. No, you have to pay those bills. Those loans are hefty. For a lot of people, they're in like sixty, seventy thousand dollars in debt, and the job they're probably gonna get after college probably isn't gonna pay off their loans in time. So they're gonna have to continue to work, continue to be stressed, continue to, you know, do the things they're not fulfilled in just to pay off the loans, just to live the life that they don't wanna live. Over time, the world's happiness has been going drastically down. If you ask most people why they work the job they work, they're not gonna say because, oh, I love this job and I chose it. They're more than likely gonna say, you know, I have bills to pay or I have a family or, you know, I have to live a life. In between you and me, I didn't choose to get born, you know, it was kind of just thrust upon me. And I only have two options, either I can, you know, die or I can get a job and try to survive. Working for so long really showed me I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. You know, by the time I'm 50, 60, I can't even see myself just working a normal job behind a desk you know, just in a firm somewhere working for somebody. I just, I cannot see myself doing that because honestly, I'm just not the type of person. I cannot work for somebody forever. And that's kind of how I've always lived my life. You know, I've always just been very independent. Even when I was younger, you know, when I lived with my parents still, I never really asked my parents for anything. I've always had a job. I always had my own money. Even now, even when times were tough, even when I was homeless, if you guys don't know, that did happen. Even through all of that, I never went to my parents for anything just because I could never get myself to reach out and ask for help. Hey yo, can I take five minutes to go to the bathroom or can I go take this phone call? My mom is on, on the phone sick. You gotta get permission. What the fuck is that? How can you be an adult and have to rely on somebody else to pay your bills or go on vacation or do anything that you wanna do on your own? I have never understood that. The fact that you're on a whim at any time, can get fired at any time. I don't understand how people live like that. How can you be mentally sane and know at any point in time, they could just call you into the office and say, you know what, Ty, I'm sorry, but you know, numbers are looking bad today so we kind of have to let you go so money is a very big issue most people work a job for money more than likely if you have a nine to five job you're not doing it out of passion you're doing it for money and if you look up the average income in america i think it's around 30 to 40 thousand a year there are millions of people that go to college get into like sixty thousand dollars in debt get a job that probably pays around 40 to 50k a year and they're going to be struggling the rest of their life to pay off their loans and you know, just survive. And on top of all of that, inflation is going up constantly. Maybe 10, 20 years ago, you were able to buy a house, pay all the bills and you know, have your wife at home and take care of your kids and whatever. But nowadays, that is totally gone. Most people in the world, they're both working in the household. They put billions of dollars into ads to get you to buy the new iPhone or the new car or whatever, just to keep you on that rat race trap, keep you in the workforce to keep you unhappy. By the time you turn like 16 years old, the entire world's asking you, what do you wanna do with your life? What degree are you gonna major in? When in fact, most people that's asking you that don't know what they're doing themselves. You know, most people, they're not, they're not thinking about the future. They're not thinking about their goals or their passions. They're just there to work and it's so, so sucking. I hate the nine to five environment. Everybody's upset, nobody's happy. That's why in most of my jobs, I don't really talk to anybody. You know, I go to do my job and I leave. I don't have dreams of being in corporate. I don't have dreams of being in a suit behind a desk. To me, you should chase happiness. Follow whatever makes you happy because at the end of the day, you only have one life to live. Why live it for somebody else? Why live it for some guy that's not even gonna come to your aid if you need help. Nobody from HR, corporate came and said, oh, Tyler, let me give you a handout. No, they didn't give a fuck. What do I look like giving my entire life to someone who never gave a fuck about me? At this point in time, I'm just tired, you know? The same day to day, wake up, go to work, come home, tired out of my mind, wanna just go to bed. But the way the world is set up, you know, you need to go to college and get a good degree. If you don't get the right degree and you don't get the right job, it could all go to shit. You just have to continue to go and hope it gets better. I haven't made much from YouTube, but honestly, you know, doing this, I've been fulfilled the entire way. Every single video that I've dropped, I love recording, I love editing, I love seeing the comments and having you guys support really fulfills me. So hopefully one day, you know, in the future soon, I'll be able to do this full time and finally start enjoying my life. For anybody that's out there watching this that hates their job too, I do wanna say you do have the power to chase your dreams and do what you want to do you know you don't have to continue to do your job and that's all you have to do you can do something else as you see i do youtube you know i still work a full-time job i do find the time to do the things that i enjoy and continue to grow in it remember you only have one life to live this is your one life this is your only existence your only memories make it count don't live it for somebody else that don't give a fuck about you do the things that you want to do fulfill yourself hey how the world is turning i hate how sad everybody is getting you don't have to be sad you can be you can be the small minority that gets out and finally becomes free you know you don't have to be rich you know i'm not 
for me, honestly, I'm not looking to be mega rich and, and have 10 Lambos and five houses. No, you know, for me, honestly, the, my only dream right now, not to have to work for anybody else. Whatever happens after that, it's extra. I'm happy. Guys, go out there, chase your dreams, and stop working for anybody else. You don't have to do it. Love your neighbor. Talk to your neighbor. I love you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.